I think the key thing that Sainsbury's had lost uh, sight of in the years immediately before my arrival was serving customers. And my mum uh, has shopped with Sainsbury's all her life. My earliest shopping experiences are uh, going to Sainsbury's, carrying bags for her at a store in Solihull, Mel Square in, in Solihull. And you know, people like my mum, millions of them, were still shopping uh, in Saints. It was about 14 million every week back in 2004, but we were not doing a good job for them. Our availability was not where it needed to be. Our prices were not as sharp. Our quality hadn't kept ahead of the competition. And uh, you know, my mum knew that, but she was still loyal because she knew Sainsbury's had been, if you like, a special part uh, of our life for a long time. And uh, if you like, we've given Sainsbury's back to those customers. Of course, a lot more of them now than today than there were then. 24 million, so an extra 10 million shopping in Sainsbury's uh, every week. So it's my mum, but 20, uh, 24 million others too. Is there a legacy that you're particularly proud of? I think the momentum of uh, the business over a number of years is an important legacy. We've been growing now for uh, nine years. It, uh, the turnaround, if you like, in our fortune started a year or so into my tenure. Uh, that growth has been driven by extra customers uh, spending more money. Of course, we have more shops over 1,200 now with uh, our 600 or so convenience stores. But that momentum of growth, it's taken us back to a 10-year high of market share, not quite our all-time high. It's got a way to go yet. And the fact that customers now uh, find it much easier to shop in Sainsbury's and in a Sainsbury's they want to shop in, be it a convenience store where they live, work or play, a, a, a supermarket where they still get the very best uh, food there is to buy in the UK or increasingly, of course, uh, online. So serving customers wherever uh, they want to be served is uh, an important legacy, but also represents still the biggest opportunity for the business in the future. And, you know, as some people are saying discount is a challenge in the main supermarkets, but of course Sainsbury's has reacted to that by joining with uh, Netto. So I suppose, is that partly to do with, as you say, not being too complacent? I think, you know, we've, our announcement uh, of Netto, the uh, early trial stores, which will open in the autumn, is another demonstration of us thinking that way. We're looking at customers, looking at how they shop, where they shop, and together with our partners at Netto are going to give uh, our customers a really different kind of discounter experience from the one that they've been used f f to from the uh, existing German discounters in uh, the UK. And uh, I think in years to come we'll look at our joint venture with Netto in much the way, same way as we do our convenience stores and our online business now, an important part of our growth, but reflecting the fact that we're serving customers with the shopping they want to buy where and when they want to buy it. Well, it's important to us that we play a full part in the community that we serve. And of course, in serving 24 million customers every week, we serve the whole of the UK, as well as the 1,200 or so communities where we have individual stores. Tax is part of that story, the tax that the corporation uh, pays, as you say, we're the seventh biggest in the UK. But of course, we employ 160,000 or so people. That's a, another massive contribution, because uh, pretty much all of our stores will be one of the biggest employers in the community of which uh, they're part. So there are lots of ways that businesses uh, play their part in the communities of which they're part. Tax is one, but at Sainsbury's we, we, we do it on many other levels too. Well, I always said I wouldn't announce anything while I was still at Sainsbury's. I've been clear that I don't intend to compete with Sainsbury's. Um, I have a non-compete course, which I'm very happy to honour. So I'm going to take a little bit of time to see what opportunities are out there. I want to do a, another big job, I've said that, but I also said I haven't got anything lined up. So it'll take a little bit of time, I think, to find the right thing that will get me as excited as I've been throughout my 10 years at Sainsbury's. But uh, when I do, of course, I'll announce it.